Android 12L might not even be officially released, but yet here we are talking about Android 13 Developer Preview 1. Here are all of the top new features that we found in the first slice of Tiramisu. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. We need to get some warnings out of the way first though, so skip ahead to get right into the features if you're not interested. That said, anyone out there expecting a huge overhaul need not apply. For starters, as is customary, the first few preview builds are aimed exclusively at developers. That means most of the major changes are found under the hood. Plus the Android 12 and material you overhaul provided such a massive change that we're expecting Android 13 to simply renovate rather than reinvent this year. This also means that Android 13, at least at this early stage, includes a number of things that we've already seen in Android 12L. Things as they are are not hugely buggy, but there might be some app incompatibility issues or problems. So if you can, we'd say avoid installing on your only or main device where possible. This is a dev preview after all, with the beta release set to come in April and a full release is scheduled for sometime around August this time around. With that said though, let's get on with these features. As we mentioned, a few little things from Android 12 have jumped over, including a few that have been disabled in the most recent Beta 3 build, including things such as the Pixel Launcher Wallpaper Quick Switcher. So if you long press on a blank space on your home screen while using the Pixel Launcher, you'll just be able to quickly switch between your five most recent wallpapers. There's also the updated and improved animations. A whole host of the animation improvements from Android 12 are here with Meta Notification Shade Expansion and just Butch Natalia and Nita animations across the board. The quick split screen launch when using the picture in picture player is also here. It was removed in beta 3, but the option is to quickly jump into split screen via a dedicated picture in picture mode toggle. This is also here in Android 13 developer preview one. It's convenient and we do hope it stays as the previews progress. Now we're back on with the Android 13 developer preview one exclusive features. And first of these is that if you use a guest profile feature on your device, you're now able to gift access to any installed apps from your main on device profile. Obviously for privacy and security reasons, each app is not logged in, nor does it include any personal information. It does make sense for this feature though to exist to allow quick access to common applications, but also ensuring that guests use their own credentials to use them as they're intended. It wouldn't be another Android developer preview phase without the notification shade media player getting some attention. This time around the media player has a brand new pause, play and skip icons. The icons are slightly thicker, but do appear slightly low resolution, hinting that we could see some more refinements here again very soon. There are some other app specific changes, such as when playing YouTube music, the thumbs up and thumbs down indicators have been replaced by repeat and shuffle buttons. This looks like it's service reliant as the option isn't visible on apps such as Tidal or various podcast players. With podcast apps such as Pocket Cast, for instance, you'll get a playback speed toggle and a mark complete option, but we haven't been able to check every single music and media player out there to test this. That's not the only media player change as the media playback output picker is now completely brand new and not taped to the bottom of your screen. Tap the device output icon and there is a new floating panel with all recently or currently connected audio output devices in a centrally placed position for access. This undock section has rounded volume sliders that you can drag and adjust as you see fit on those devices that are shown. This might not be ideal for access on larger displays, however it does seem to fit more with the wider material you theme a little more readily. The quick settings or notification shade toggle section has gained a few extra toggles for use with the Android 13 developer preview one here too. There is now a quick toggle for enabling or disabling the one-handed mode, display color correction, plus there's a new QR code reader. Unfortunately, the latter of which that QR code reader is not yet operational, but the toggle is likely to be enabled in a future update, or at least our fingers are crossed that it is. If you don't particularly like using gestures and prefer the three button on-screen navigation, you now have the ability to disable or enable home or circle button long presses to invoke or activate the Google Assistant with Android 13 Dev Preview 1. It's not a huge addition by all means, but it is an option nonetheless. Silent literally means silent in Android 13 Developer Preview 1, as unlike in previous Android builds, if you prefer to set your phone to this quiet setting, it will also disable haptic feedback for all screen taps and touches. 
swiping up into the recent apps menu, using quick settings toggles, scrolling through the app drawer and any number of other areas and are devoid of the soft vibration of the haptic motor. The only places where haptics are retained in silent mode are when placing your device onto a charger or plugging in a charger or when unlocking using the pixel imprint or in display fingerprint scanners. We can only assume that these are seen as ways to ensure external hardware is working or successful and this does kind of make sense given that silent mode would mean specifically silent, vibrate mode would mean vibration and therefore enable you to retain haptic feedback with no sounds. Although not yet used by any app as is, there is set to be a new photo picker in Android 13 that will integrate both local and cloud stored photos without apps needing additional permissions for media access on your device. Google provided a sample of the feature in action, which looks like it will be nice and clean and fit in with the rest of the UI. We thought that internal dessert based codenames for Android were never to be used publicly again, but open up settings, head to about phone and Android version, and you'll see it's not listed as Android 13, or even 13 for just that matter. No, Google is actually referring to this build officially as Tiramisu, which is great for dessert fans as the coffee and chocolate flavored Italian classic is pretty much excellent. On Pixel 5 and newer, the devices that have this option, the quick tap gesture has now gained a dedicated toggle flashlight option to help you save some time and effort diving into the wider settings of this neat quick gesture feature. Although not immediately obvious right away, Android 13 Developer Preview 1 is laying the foundations for more apps to begin supporting the inbuilt icon theming that was added with the advent of Android 12. Third party developers are now able to update their icons to support the adaptive monochrome icons that look right at home with your Material U home screen setups and work in dark and light themes. No apps do yet support the feature, but we are expecting that to change as the previews and subsequent betas do progress. So there are more than just surface level changes in the Android 13 developer preview one build, but this small selection happens to be the top user facing features that we've found thus far. We're expecting much more to surface over the coming months. And of course there will be much under the hood and to celebrate this video and the launch of Android 12 developer previews. If this video does happen to reach 2,500 likes, we'll give you a couple of exclusive wallpapers to use on your own device. We also want to know what is your favorite new feature or even features. Let us know down in the comment sections below. But as always, until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.